This is a Dagon deck, yes, Lucifer. Dagon usually played in first form. Oh, it's Gari Gari. I didn't realize he's still playing. Gari Gari is playing. Um, he's like a big Chinese streamer, I think. Okay, we've got Onero, we've got Bruis. We're red coin versus off the books. They're probably playing Acherontia. Mm. Okay. We're thinking we're thinking we're up against like Acherontia, Ixora. Something like this, I'm assuming. The, uh, this is a list that I'm posting in the chat is the one that Miamon played in the community open. I'm thinking something like that. Mm. Okay. The righteous shall be recompensed. We'll get Dagon. Argari is back for a while. Nice. One, two, three, four, and I guess for Giant Toad? I mean, I could also put on the Suck. But if this Suck gets pulled out by the Bruis in round one, I don't even really want to consume it, right? I want to pull out this Toad Prince so that I can, or Giant Toad so I can get more carryover. Oh, Casino Bouncers. It is, okay, so yeah, it is. I didn't I didn't even actually take a look at the full list. There's casino bouncers in this list from Miamon. And sewer raiders. Unfortunately no way to get rid of this flying Redanian. What do they have? They don't have this is a devotion list that we're up against. <clears throat> they have like what what they can screw do to screw with us? They don't have any tall punish. They can they can screw with us by using shady vendor to try to get maybe Shite. um Mops the seas card. Again. Shady vendor to get the seas bronze crime and take away our like succubus maybe. Okay. Hmm. Let's do this. <clears throat> Get the fog rolling. And then probably just play carry over Megascope, Megascope. We want to win this round so that we can push out the Acherontia or the Xora. Damn. No, uh, no Toad Prince for this right now. Toad Prince for, um, Oxen for Guard will be good. He's offering a pass, but I don't want to take it. He's getting a lot of carryover. It's kind of scary. He's offering a pass again, and we don't take it. We just gotta get. We gotta match his carryover with our carryover, I think. And then we wanna play a succubus at some point too, because this is our first succubus. You fear me, I said nah, I could have placed this in the middle, I guess. Take a little bit away from that. I I think we played... Mm. I'm going to have four toads, right? We're going to have four toads in the graveyard. So one from this, one from suc succubus number two, one from succubus number three, and then like maybe one more from these. I think we probably go Andriga Warrior now. How many tags did he have? Salamandra, cut ups, crown splitters, tide cloak. He has four tags. He has four tags. 
Um, four tags, he could yoink. If he goes Shady Vendor and rolls into pulling the strings, he could yoink one of my toads, which is pretty annoying. I hope he missed pulling the strings. But he, it's really rare for him to pos to miss pulling the strings and open sesame. He does get pulling the strings. We lose one of the toads, and that's also more like good points for him. Damn. That's rough. We should play here. I need 18 points to get ahead. Foglet is going to be 8, 10, 12. And then I need a 6. I think Succubus will be 6 by playing it. Oh, also, I forgot about the day one. So we, we can get ahead here. My, my fear is that he won't pass. We're actually a little bit... Okay, he passes, which is really good. But if he didn't pass, we actually don't have that much good stuff. Because we're lacking consumes. We're not done if you can still walk. Okay. Alright, time to push, push, push. Arendite's growing, mostly. We've got Detlaf. We've got Suck number two. We've got two toads in the graveyard. It's only two toads now, which is a little bit sad. Okay, this hand is good. Um... I'm missing, like, a consume. This is second Oneromancy. Toad Prince, oh, man. I think we're getting rid of Toad Prince. I don't know. We're short on consumes. Toad Prince is good, but only if... He's not going to play his spender until later. I like I like holding this hand. I like this hand. Do that. We'll go Arrakis Queen front row. He shouldn't be able to do anything to it. And then we can do Do we heat wave this? I'd rather Arendite. I want to play Arendite twice, right? He doesn't have defender. So yeah, I want to play Arendite twice. Dagon's not coming back yet. If I do this, I'm gonna have... I'm still a little bit short on consumes. I mean, I could use all three leader charges and an Indriga Warrior. To consume this and the two Detlafs. And then I have no more leader charges for Sucks in round three. A little bit concerning, but we do have Call the Depths coming back, assuming that we draw one of these and we play one of these. So what's my ideal hand here? Let's say we play leaders and Indriga warriors, right? Best commodity in town. I swear it. Then we have five cards left to play in this game. We only want one the suck. Of power. Don't interest one me. suck, Arendite, Bridge Troll. Um, and then, like, we're really short on consumes. Ugh. Maybe I play this for a consume. Maybe I'm going to play this for a consume. What happened here? Payday? Payday? King of Beggars comes out? Arendite is at 8. He doesn't play Siggy. I actually don't think we play the Aaron right here. I think... Oh, man. I'm a little bit conflicted. Oh, 
I filled the row. Whoops. Oh well. Uh, I, I still have one click on this. He might be, he might feel forced to play the Acherontia now, and if he plays the Acherontia now, we can probably we can we can answer it still. We have the Oniromancy into Erendite. Um, he does have a lot of coins though. He's gonna it, the Acherontia is gonna give him seven plus eight fifteen plus eight twenty three coins. Twenty three coins plus whatever this profits off of. So. He's likely going to be able to get two cards from the Acherontia. He's going to go digging right now. Doesn't find the Acherontia. I, I wonder if he was trying to go for the Acherontia there. Okay, I mean, this is a pass? Right? This is a pass, I think. Five cards in round three. We're going to play Suck. Erendite, Bridge Troll, and then Consume Consume, I think. I don't think there's enough turns to play the sword. The sword only plays for 9 right now. It's not doing anything. He has two infinite spenders. The sword is just a 9-point card. It's not worth playing. But you might miss it. But I have the Oniromancy. I have Oniromancy and I can I can Onero it if I need to. But if I Oniromancy the sword now, I might miss the bridge troll. The bridge troll I think is actually the most important card. The bridge troll is worth 10 plus Dagon, which is 8, plus a consume, which is worth another 5, plus Dagon's passage, which is probably worth 1. So I think this bridge one of these two bridge trolls is worth 10 plus 8 plus 5, that's 20, 24 points. I think what, these cards, if I... The difference between the first one and not drawing one and not drawing one, it's going to be worth 24 points. This card. Oh, he had a Marils. So he's not playing exactly the same list. I wonder what he cut for the Marils. Not Junior, right? You wouldn't cut Junior. Hmm. I don't know what he cut from the reels. He still has Bank, he still has Redanian. He still has to make up 14 points or 15 points here. Um, okay, we get the Acherontia too. I mean, this is amazing, right? He's down a card and he's kind of used his biggest win condition. Exora, is that is Exora going to be that much of a threat? He still has he still has a Sesame's. I think if we just play like a Doldu Lock, the Exora is not going to be that big of a threat. We can Exora, or we can play we can you click the Doldu Lock to to block the Exora. Um, this hand is, I would say this hand is pretty perfect. I think we're just going to keep. I do need the consume for the suck, right? We have one toad in our graveyard. We're going to play Doldu Lock first, so that the Bridge Troll... If I play Bridge Troll first, I end up with call, uh, the 8-point Dagon as my shortest unit on the board, and then he might be able to Exora it. But if I do this first, then we should be safe. No, we don't want to pick Consume from Location. I think we just take we just take Suck from Location. If we need another Consume, we pick we pick Harpy from uh, Oniromancy. And then that Harpy is bonded, that gets us another 3 as well. Even though I don't think we'll be able to consume that 3. I must... Price. His points are going to come from his coins in Oxenfurt Guard. Oxenfurt Guard is a lot of points. 
There's eight points, eight coins here. There's 18, 19 coins. He has 19 coins. Hmm. I think it's bridge troll now. Then click. Actually, I don't even need to click because this is still protected by Exora. If he kills this, then that's fine. We click. We're going to go Harpy onto the bridge troll. Oh, God. Can he can he yoink this? No, he can't, right? He only has two tags. He can't yoink this. Heatwave. I don't know if Heatwave will find value. I mean, maybe. If he's going to if he's gonna super greed on the Oxen Regards, then Heatwave should be able to find some value. He's using most of his coins now. Just to spread around for Heat Wave, I guess. Now we click. We're ahead, growing the Arendite again. And last card. Oxen for a guard. Junior. Okay. Junior kills the Dagon. But we got this. He missed both Oxen for guards. He must have cut Exora. Cut Exora for Mareels, is my guess. This is actually kind of close. He doesn't even go that tall here. It's actually kind of close. It's not that I'm always right? We don't win by that much. It's you who's always sexy. Only seven points. It was closer than I thought. If he had drawn an Oxen for a guard, I think maybe we could have gotten close to losing. Like, Oxen for a guard instead of the... Did he play Eternal Fire Disciple, or was that from Eventide Plunder? I don't remember recalling anymore, but... Yeah, if, if instead of the Disciple, he had Oxen for a guard, maybe we lose. GG. That was a good one, though. That round two push was really nice, getting the Acherontia out, getting a lot of the coins as well. Getting the extra card and the Acherontia. I thought I thought maybe he would have been able to do it with the Acherontia without spending the extra card, but then he would probably have to spend his um, his carryover, his uh, open sesame carryovers. Okay, Pirates. Death Wish versus Pirates. It's uh, Compass. Pirates Compass. I think we can get rid of the Oniromancy so that we can pull it with Lady of the Lake. Because we don't want Arendite right now. Hmm. What do we mulligan here? I don't have Dagon. Maybe Mulligan Foglet? Could be Otkel. It's playing Discard. Well, we got the Arendite anyways. I think it's this deck. I don't think it's Otkel. I think it's this deck. Lyria, what Lyria played. Um, I would say we probably ignore that. Oh, it is Odkel, his graveyard. Okay, so he has Hewlin. Then I guess it is Odkel. Do you guys have a link to the Odkel deck? I, I don't have a link to the Odkel deck. Um... Anyways. Hmm. Do we play Bruce here? Hmm. 
Let's do this first. Wait, no, I need this for both. Oh, man. But I think I'm gonna do it anyways. I think we're gonna do it anyways. It's possible that he doesn't have a boat, because he would've... Like, he maybe would've opened with boat. He's gonna go... Oh, he's gonna go uh, raiding fleet. Um, I can't use this. Sad, I can't use this arcane tome. Very sad. Okay, so I'm looking at this le this list now. I think we're maybe not contesting the round anymore. There's a door, Gary, in this deck. That's concerning. There's a door, Gary, and a heat wave. And a compass, which could also be scary. At least this way, we're not really giving me any armor. I do want to play the suck. I do want to play the suck. Maybe we could even discard the suck. There's no squirrel. There's no graveyard hate Modern as far as I know. Is patient, but she brooks no like if we just discard the suck, he can't really hero pass us, right? If I play the suck, he gets extra armor. And playing that... Playing the suck versus not playing is not going to change the Erendite situation. You want to play a second Megascope? I, I don't think we should play Lady of the Lake for the second Megascope. I think we should keep those Oniromancies because I, I need Oniromancy for both Dagon and Bruis. And I might still need it for like a Detlaf or another suck later. We're not gonna have thinned this much. We're not gonna have thinned that much this game because we're red coin. We didn't get the stratagem on the Bruis, and we also didn't thin in round one. For a club. And also, if we tried to play a megascope here, we're probably not gonna be able to catch up that easily. I think we should pass here. You can't tome the scope. Oh, you, know, you wanted to tome Oniromancy into Megascope? Hmm. I mean, if I click the tome again, he gets another Freya. He gets to click the tome for. He gets to click his tome for Freya. Squirrel's amazing. Hmm. I probably don't want Arendite. In this round. Dagon's a great top deck. And now... I think we get rid of the Harpy. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five? That bow before modern Freya. I I really regret using my toad prince. Should not have used the toad prince. We got a heat wave croc. Let's go. Um, Let's go squirrel first. 
No, we should play we should play Dagon first. I'm gonna play Dagon in this round no matter what. We should play Dagon first. And that grows our Arendite. Otherwise it doesn't like playing Squirrel doesn't grow our Arendite. He might pass here out of fear of losing his card advantage. That deck doesn't play Hewan? Oh. Okay. Mm, you're right. Okay, I found another version that does play Hewan. Thank you. So it's like something like this, maybe? Playing oh, dude, he's playing Compass! So what do we even squirrel then? Do we squirrel the compass? He's he's not gonna be milled if I squirrel the compass though. The problem is he's not gonna be milled if I squirrel the compass. He can't even play the compass for a legendary yet, but he maybe could if he has another thin. Like last wish or a boardage. Or just like it probably will be able to play a legendary in round three, but I have to be careful because if I play Squirrel for a Compass in this round, I might get two zeroed. He might just go for the two zero instead. I think it's unlikely though that we'll get two zeroed. Uh, let's see here. We we'll want to do this. The righteous shall be recompensed. But if I don't Squirrel now. I'm potentially losing my chance. Okay, I don't need to consume. I kind of do need to consume if I want to get this back, but I think we don't use the consume. The consume's too valuable, and I don't think he's passing right away. If he wants to lock one of these, he can be my guest. But he might just straight up go Otkel into Triple Freya now. He has Smuggler, Corsair... And Dimmon Pirate, and like, yeah, it's very strong. Um. What am I playing? Andrigo Warrior? <laughs> and then Bridge Troll? There's the Odd Cal, so the Squirrel's definitely going on Compass now. My path. I don't have the Debt Laugh in this round. Burn! He's gonna go with Brock. Okay, that saves me. Oh, that saves me a consume. That's pretty good. The fact that that saves me a consume. kind of think we play it slow and just play into this um so that we can i want to be able to consume two things at once with andriga warrior what's the heat wave target the heat wave target if there's no croc the heat wave targets actually one of these boats but the boats only playing the boats playing for nine points at this point I'm playing like five more units. Might be better just to heat wave like a pirate when he plays the next pirate. There's going to be a second pirate, right? Do I need to consume from the location? Maybe. I mean, here, like, we don't even need to consume. We don't even need to consume this. This is going to die, too. I think we do this it's now. It's you who's always Boat gives armor while pirate doesn't? That's true. I'm still concerned about a 2-0 situation here. No rat. 
That's fine. She's gonna come back undoomed. Oh, I can also heat wave this to prevent the uh, f the the uh, armor from blocking the fog that much. Relax. She comes back undoomed because by the time she comes back at the end of my next turn, I only have a, I have adrenaline four. I will play Squirrel regardless. Yeah, maybe. I'll carve out my name in your drunken hide if I have to. Like I play Andrigo Warrior here. We're not done if you can still walk. Hmm. He is he does seem like he's going for the 2-0, right? What's his last card? Heatwave? I need 22. <sighs> I think we go Doldu Lock for I think we go Doldu Lock range uh for um for suck. Doldu Lock for suck is 7 Plus, uh, nine, sixteen, and then we probably just like use leaders. We just use leaders if we need to. I'm just a sex <clears throat> We use leaders if we. Oh, I keep forgetting we have this. We use leaders if we need to to catch up. This way, we don't, don't go too tall on any one unit. If I play the Arrakis Queen, I'm gonna have to go too tall, and I also don't know if I can greed the Arrakis Queen front row to get the um the order for the four extra drones, right? And maybe I, maybe that plays into Heat Wave, and I don't like that. Here, like, he can Heat Wave a 9, or he can Heat Wave a Suck, but I have two of them. And then now, we play Squirrel for Compass. And we need to leader one of these. Just once, and that's enough. We have equal cards, he doesn't have a thing. And uh, we click this to make sure we get that lap on top. It's not that I'm always home. I need to make sure it's I don't miss the Detlaf. Nice. Should be a win. And Detlaf is going to get us Dagon back. No compass. He's got like a heat wave left. Maybe a COC. And really not much else. How big is this? Six. I guess we don't want the Arendite. Oh, gross. Well, that's worse. <sighs> nice. Okay, GG. So much carryover, dude. I just opened the round with how many points? <laughs>